All right, this is a review of TwitchCon 2019. It was held in San Diego. The convention included gamers, e-girls, white knights, thirsties, and trolls, partners, and even e-celebs. Coming in is drama and a new wave of insta-gods and influencers, even then cosplay. A much younger crowd than YouTube. The partners, which are the check marks, even had a class on personal safety, scared to even drink drinks at a party. There's a new wave of fame and entitlement. And in terms of those drinks, I do agree they should let them pour their own drinks or serve it to them, not have warm beer just hanging out. And the White Knight's got to be there for the protection. Not Twitch. Blaming Twitch for bullshit. Trolls give Twitch life while the beta orbers are trying to prove themselves, but always put themselves in the friend zone. TwitchCon was well worth it as I could see the new wave of products coming out. The best being the AI of NVIDIA and how you don't even need a green screen. I got to see the GoXLR in person. It's a handy mixer, a sampler, and can help with vocal effects. And eventually I'll get the Shure mic even though they weren't there. They had a long line for the Twitch loot, which sold Twitch merchandise, sweaters and gear. On the first day, it took almost more than an hour, so I said forget that, and I waited the next day. It took about 15 minutes, and I got a cool sweater and a cool hat. The vibe of TwitchCon, since it's younger, still had like an extension of high school, mini tribes, which you want individuals, and you do want tribes of long tail niches. Here are some Twitter posts. And what happened at the convention would be white knight recruitment or just standard meetups. This was my first TwitchCon. And you can see the bang chicks dancing. Had good vibes, good shuffling. And they had plenty of energy drinks. G Fuel so you could play longer. Just like the protein powder of the exercise industry. There's more energy to stay more alert. Caffeine or to play or stream for 24 hours straight. There was Game Fuel which tasted pretty good. Rockstar had their own prices, so I don't expect to pay $750 or how much it costs just for a Rockstar. And of course, the Bang Energy Drink, as well as G Fuel. Upstairs, they had Team Rivals where streamers could fight. It was like a game room, like the arena, the Gladiator Arena for gamers. And you could meet your streamer, but you had to wait. And how would you like to be waiting in this line, especially a fully capped line? Some are more popular than others. Some of the streamers can be anxious or nervous. Is anyone going to show up to meet me or talk to me? And especially the fanboys in line talk not just to meet, but to have a simple word. I won't wait for you. E-girls and female streamers on, on hypergamy mode. There's going to be more on that later. Acquiring the follows, rotations, and the white knot mods. Almost in the dynamic of the bachelorette and guys that have no girlfriend. This was much better than last year. I did not go to the one in San Jose where people had to wait three or four or five plus hours just to get in the first day. It was fast. Parking is under the San Diego convention, which you will understand for the 2020 convention, which is going to be held in San Diego again. The SwitchCon can be great for networking. I was meeting more of the small streamers since I'd like to talk to them more. Many of them I didn't even see. Some would be Green Dumpling. He gave out some postcards. He seemed real tired because he's coming all the way from Malaysia and had jet lag. Although I was a second to last to see them. And I didn't want to wait no line, so I only waited five minutes. He's a big character and has great words. And he stayed to the end and didn't want to disappoint us. XQC, who I didn't even know. Harris Heller, who I got all these streaming tips from. Cool guy. And Jenna and all the blondes. They're from the Raj and Doc shows. Mia Malkova. And some other chicks. The show has horrible dating advice. Just watch my channel for better advice. It's horrible. Doc's show is pretty good. Just the beginning. I didn't see Doc, but Raj Patel was there. Seemed very friendly. And just to understand you're watching these shows, it's for entertainment. It's a show, guys. Come on. It's just entertainment. And the line was crazy. It's dudes, of course, waiting to get their picture with probably me and Malkova to say they got close to a porn star or a former porn star. And updated info on Twitch. Twitch has come out with a new studio, which is going to compete with OBS. And it will make it easier for new streamers as Twitch explodes onto the mainstream. And I predicted this. That's why I went just to see how this IRL will come to explode in the new world. Twitch can be too strict. There's trolling. They do promote fairness and inclusiveness where they talk a certain ways. There's steps and transparency of bands. However, it's just all talk. There's White Knight mod updates. So White Knights are going to be very busy with the trolls and whoever the haters are. And hopefully they get paid well or they come with perks. Some of the e-girls would be very popular in the early 20s, and it's going to be hard to hold on to those viewers. Because younger hot upstarts with no husband are in the same pipeline. And year after year, it's going to continue that cycle. If you are an Amazon member, you get a ton of perks. There's Twitch Prime membership. There's Twitch goodies. I got 200 bits. About $20 of free goodies. 
ten dollars for merchandise and then ten dollars for food so this covers a lot of money with the amazon prime membership and i'm glad amazon bought twitch for about a billion dollars and some of the tips that i showed on the tweets earlier some of these gamers do stink it's not so much deodorant i don't think they change their clothes they don't take a shower it's pretty disgusting i would say it's one out of 200 people that just reek and i've been to a lot of concerts that's one of the big things about this event is there are some gamers who stink and there are streamers who have been to maybe five or six of these twitch cons and they give them the tip hey use deodorant or take a shower or whatever it's funny at least San Diego was cool, but next year it might be warmer. You can plan a meetup or create one. There's plenty of parties going on, as well as you can meet in TwitchCon. I would plan a few meetups a day, just in case you can't meet someone. Sometimes time flies by, and there's no reason not to say hi or introduce yourself. It's still a Twitch is still a tight-knit community, especially if they are alone or you are alone. Some of the streamers are filming during TwitchCon, so you could track them down. That's somewhat kind of weird, though, but you could plan it out and find people. Don't expect to meet everybody. Chill and have fun. Three days of this can wear you down. People are very approachable. Everybody was there. People can stink, and there's a link to an article on a streamer blaming the game on his dirty lifestyle. It's pretty disgusting. It's funnier than hell. And this live streaming is going to be big in the future. It's maturing. And all you have to do is go out with people and you meet people who are open to it. Personality is king. And I do recommend you use a few platforms. Twitch is strict, but it is the funnest. There's Mixer, YouTube, and DLive. And check out my Twitch playlist, which I will be adding to slowly on Twitch culture, opinions, books concerning Twitch, attention economy, equipment, and language and trolling of the Twitch community. I'm doing this because I like the Twitch platform. I think everyone should have an account. Many people are starving for connection and attention. And it's different, and it will connect well with my Amazon. Twitch doesn't belong to the family friendly like Nick A, but to the trolls. Keep it fun and friendly. And most definitely get a Twitch account, and I'll see you at TwitchCon. Thank you.